All right, I have exactly 10 minutes before I need to be walking out the door for work, so let's see if I can get this done. Today I have my home decor haul, thrifted home decor haul, finally. Oh my gosh, it's been so long, so I actually don't even remember what I bought. So I was walking in my room and I was like, you were thrifted, you were thrifted, you were thrifted. I don't know if you were thrifted, but I, I'm putting you in the video. I have a few garage sale things, mostly thrifted items, but yeah, let's just get right on into it. First thing I picked up, or the first thing I'm showing you, is this vintage pillowcase. It is from the 40s. Um, the lady was telling me that her grandpa or dad sent it to his wife when he was in the war. I don't know. It was a really, really cool, cool story. So I picked it up. It was $5, but for a vintage pillowcase from the 40s. I think it was 40s. Thought that was a good price. Next item I got was actually free because it was a little bit broken. Just this gumball machine. Looks like this. Not a fan of the color. I'm gonna be honest. I might spray paint this a different color. But where it's broke, I actually already fixed it right here. This part was falling off. But I broke the top, so I don't know how to fix that. It was free. I really, really like gumball machines. I want to fill it with something really unique, like eyeballs or something. Not eyeballs. Not eyeballs, like buttons. Yeah, I just thought it was super cool and for free, you just really, really couldn't pass it up. Next thing I got may be a little bit scary, but for some reason I was drawn to it, and it is this hand. Um, just looks like this. I believe it's to hold something. It has a hole in here and here and here. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I like, want to fist pump it, and I do in the morning sometimes. I wake up and I'm like... I have no friends. I thought about putting like flowers in here or something, my friend was saying that, but I ended up just hanging bracelets off of it and it looked pretty cool and it was only 25 cents out, okay? Punched me in the face, literally. <laughs> I actually got two, but I'm just gonna show you one. It is these giant uh, spools. I don't know if these are vintage because I got them at the thrift store. They're $3 each, which is kind of a lot for me, but if they are vintage, that's a pretty good price. And they just look super, super cool. I put this one, um, put lace on this one, that's what I was trying to say, words. <laughs> and I just thought it looked really cool. I, I don't know, I, I I don't know, I don't really know. Next I picked up this metal crate. It's really hard to show you so I'm going to talk quickly. I got this at a garage sale actually and they had a bunch of like posters and stuff in this and I was like, hey are you selling the crate? And then he was like, sure, three bucks. So they actually weren't selling it but they sold it to me. And I was so excited because I need something to put my records in. And so um, this is now where I store them. I took them all out for this video. But I freaking love this crate. I love the industrial look when I'm decorating my room. And so this really, really helps make it look like that. So I picked up some books. I don't know if that counts as home decor, but I use it as home decor. So I will go through and show you a few of them. I don't know if you guys have seen The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, but I recently saw that for the first time at my brother's house. and. I kind of just fell in love with the character. Um, if you don't know, he works for Life Magazine and he does like stuff with photography and stuff. He develops film and it got me really interested in film and Life Magazine. And when I went to a garage sale a few days later, I found this awesome book. And I don't know, I just thought it looked really, really cool. It's obviously Ireland by Life Magazine. And the lady I bought it from was actually from Ireland, so I got to talk to her a little bit about it and it was really. I don't know, cool, I asked her if she missed it, and she was like, well, yes, I can't, yes, I, but I'm so sorry if you're Irish, because that was offensive. And speaking of Life Magazine, I went to another garage sale and got super lucky, because this guy um, that was having the garage sale said his grandpa used to work, or great-grandpa, I don't know, something, used to work for Life Magazine when they first opened, so he has, like, original... Life magazines, which I just thought was so cool. So this one's from 1976. I have another one. I don't know. It's about the Kennedys. And then another one that is another Kennedy one. And I have one about the moon. And then I picked up this book that was 10 cents and it just has old sheet music in it. And I got it to rip out and frame and put around my room. I don't know if you can see, I have one right back there. And uh, yeah, it was only 10 cents and for free art, it's a great, great buy. So, picked up these three books at my local thrift store. Got this one, it says, I got this one, it says, Kiss, 
kiss tomorrow to goodbye. And I got this one that says something about American poetry. Who wants to take time to actually read it, you know? If you guys know me, you know I'm kind of obsessed with jars. Um, so I picked up two. This one looks like a sailboat, and it was $2.99 from Goodwill, and it was half off, so I think it was like $1.50. May have been like 30% off, actually. Don't really remember, but I don't know. I just thought this was really, really cool, and I've been meaning to fill it with like buttons or something, but I haven't got gotten them to. And speaking of jars, I picked up another one, and this one is vintage. Um, the guy didn't know exactly what year it was from. I got it from a garage sale, but he said that they're really, really old, somewhere in like the 20s and stuff. But I just thought this was really cool, and I'm not sure if you can see, but it has this really pretty iridescent tint to it, or tinge, I don't know. I thought it was really cool, and it was $2. Ow! When I was at another garage sale, I've been garage selling a lot, um, I found a, like, garage sale. <laughs> she was selling all these, like, vintage posters, so I picked up two vintage posters. One looks like this. It says, all the world will be jealous of me. I'm guessing it's because she is dating this so spiffy dressed man that everyone's going to be jealous of her because... Not many people can wear white Oxfords, so I'm jealous, okay? Second one I got says smiles, and I just thought they looked really, really cool, and I think this one's from 1918, and the other one was from 1917, so very, very old and falling apart, so you have to kind of be careful, but I love them, and they were each one dollar and then I picked up a set of these glasses I got five of them for ten dollars they are vintage as well I picked up lots of vintage things um, and I just love these um, I don't know why I just did that I have been starting to collect glassware now I just keep them right up here speaking of collecting glassware I picked up two plates that look like this um, I see this color all the time and I'm really really drawn to it so I decided to finally pick some up each of these were a dollar, so I spent two dollars in total. There were four of them, but I just didn't feel like spending four dollars. So, I don't know, I just thought these looked really, really cool. How much time do I have? Yeah! I have to go. Okay, so honestly, I think there's a lot more than that, but I have to go to work right now, and I've tried filming this like several different times, and I've gotten interrupted. So, this is probably gonna go up no matter what. I'm sorry if it was too rushed. I know you guys had to wait a long time for it, but hopefully you still enjoyed seeing what I got and I hope it wasn't too rushed. Um, but yeah, I really gotta go, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye!